luck again. This time we'll go over blur and things like that to just smooth out any dark shadows you got, any lines like you can see here and there. Let's, let's just get started and I'll, I'll show you as we go. So again, let's start off by duplicating this layer. And I'll show you why now, because we'll be going to filter, blur and Gaussian blur and not too much, not too little, like something like that. Hit OK and now we have a very blurry layer but we're gonna make sure that's selected and then go down to mask, add a layer mask. Now how mask works is that once everything is white everything is revealed and when it's black everything is hidden so we'll be clicking on the mask and control I to invert that layer now it's black as you can see so everything is hidden then you make sure you have white as your foreground color and then go up to the brush tool lower your opacity to 20-30% Check the size of your, your brush and make sure it's soft brush and then we can start painting. So make sure you have your mask selected. Then just go around where you want to smooth out things like, like this. Same for up here where we have those nasty edges. And since we have the opacity so low we won't everything won't be completely blurred. That's why I use this way. Uh, things like that you can probably clone or smudge or just use the blur tool which you have down here blur and smudge those are also useful but when I start I like to just do this blur the entire image after this you can go over go over image and just use the blur tool too but, but at first I like this one so Let's also paint down here by the lip. You see there's some edges there too. And just make it all smooth and pretty. Same for the nose. And this is also why I said I will go back and forth into liquify to touch up because now it's a little bit soft but liquify fixes that so you can just straighten out those edges again. But let's see how this looks in actual pictures. Pixels. Um, you know that looks pretty good. So now you can just merge this layer down with that previous one and see how it compares to the original image. That's a big change. So yeah, as I explained I go back and forth with liquify so let's hit liquify again just cause I can. And we use the bucket tool. And we use the pucker tool on the nose to just sharpen it up a bit. Like that. And the same thing down here by the lip. And hit OK. And I'm sorry if it's lagging, for some reason Chrome decided to restart again, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you in the next video 
how to shadow this so it looks even better but for now we've softened up these edges and there are mm, so many things that may need to be softened up with blur too like yeah but this image doesn't really need it right now so let's just stop here until this unless this video gets too long and uh, I'll, I'll continue on in the next one